Okay, today what we're going to be doing is replacing the developer in a Rico color copier, an MPC 2000 all the way up to say like a 5501, 2800, 3500, and so on. What we're going to have to do first is we're going to have to get into the service program mode by pressing uh, clear, one, zero, seven, stop, and hold down stop when you get to it. The screen will change and then we're going to hit this top button which says system SP and then we're going to go to number three process three triple X and then we're going to page all the way down until it stops and then right there at the end 3902 new unit set we're going to hit that and then for whatever developer, not develop, well, it could be developer unit. Uh, we'll get into that um, once I start pulling the drum unit apart. But if you're just replacing the powder, the developer, then you'll select which one of these that you are replacing and touch it. Like say if we're doing black, then we'll touch black. And then over here to the right, in the little box is gonna be a zero. We wanna hit one one and then we want to hit enter I'm not going to do that because this machine is already uh, calibrated uh, but once we do that then you'll exit out and then cut the main power switch off now to get the developer unit out we need to get to the drum unit and you'll pull off this locking bracket screw that will be here and then this will come right off there'll be a handle right here on the right and then a handle right here and you'll just pull this down you'll lift up the tab and this section will come right out and this is your drum unit now you want to be careful of this cylinder we don't want to touch that or damage it in any way now for video purposes i'm going to be touching this thing turning it upside down and everything else just so that you can see um, how to do this Okay, the first thing that we have to do is we have to pull these two screws, one right here and one right here. And this is to get the face plate off. Pull that off. And then we have a holding bracket right here that holds in the developer unit, and there'll be one screw there. Now there might be two because they did come up with a new style drum unit. Uh, but the process is the same. Then you'll pry that with a flat screwdriver, just pry that off of there. And then once again, we do want to try to keep this unit level uh, the mo while you're doing this, but for video purposes, I'm gonna tip it up. And then right here, there's gonna be a connector. And you'll just wanna disconnect that wire. Then we're gonna go around to the back and right here, there is a C-clip and a brass bushing that we want to get out of there. So we'll just take a flathead screwdriver, pry off that C-clamp, and then we want to take our screwdriver and pry out that brass bushing. And that comes out like that. Now that's got a flat side to it, you can see right there. And that's going to go towards the, towards the bottom when we go to put it back in. Now that we have the connector undone in the front, this piece off the front and the brass bushing, it's going to come right out. And you'll want to pull the front out first and then slide the back out like so. And it's got in the developer, it has a little notch right here that will go into this notch right there. So when we go to put that back in, you'll slide this end unit first, and then you'll slide the front end next. Now to get the uh, developer, now one thing you can do is you can buy this whole section right here and then just throw this one away. Uh, the other much inexpensive way to go is to replace the powder that is in this unit 
Um, either way will work. Um, to get this powder out of there, you've got three tabs. One right there, one in the center, and one on the rear. And you just take your finger, which is generally what I do, and just pry them up. Now this section right here will roll forward and come right off. And then you're going to take and dump all of this powder out into, the, into a trash bag and make sure that you're somewhere where it can get messy because this is a messy job. Um, I don't recommend that you take a vacuum cleaner to this because there is a TD sensor and I can't turn it over right now, up underneath here, and static electricity can uh, damage that TD sensor. So just empty this out and then just take a brush and brush off all of this, uh, these metal filings because that's basically what a developer is, is metal filings. Then you'll put, uh, grab your new bag and evenly distribute it across uh, from one side to the other and just kind of move it around in there. Once you've got your new developer in there, then you put your cover back on, snap it down, make sure all those little snaps that we took are snapped down properly. And then we're gonna put the back in first, just like so. And then we're gonna get the front in. Then we're gonna put a retaining bracket on the front. Put our screw back in. And then we'll get your connector plugged back in. And then I like to get it up underneath right there. There's a little place that you can move that wire around. And then you put your base plate back on, get your screw right there and your screw right there. Put your brass bushing back in. Remember that flat spot goes downward. Press it all the way back up in there. Get your little C-clip. Grab some needle nose. Snap that in there, and this developer unit is all done. Now all we have to do is just slide her back in, like so, and then you press the handle down till it snaps. Of course, there'll be other drum units right there. Slide this over, handle down, there'll be another handle right here and you'll just press that down. Now, once you turn the machine on, it's automatically gonna reset the counter for, um, for the developer count on how many copies you put on it, and it's also gonna automatically calibrate the developer level, and that was the very first thing that we did on, in the, into the service program. And you should be all set to go.